Okay, today we're gonna look at something that I got in the mail. I haven't grabbed it yet, haven't done anything. I just took it out of the original box, the big box. So I was gonna go through this with you. Sorry if I'm out of breath. Still kind of getting over the COVID. So you can turn off the sound if that the heavy breathing bothers you or just pretend I ran a marathon. It's up to you. Let's get into this. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna stand on these chains here. Let me give myself a couple inches. There we go. All right, I'm Jimmy. Oh. Okay, so what we're gonna look at is, what does that say? Anyways, we're gonna look at the Taipan, the 3V Taipan. I've been wanting one of these for a long, long time. This will be the first time I ever checked it out. So, there's the sheath that I never ever talk about the sheath. I guess I'll force myself to do that. And let's see if we can't get these numbers up on the screen for anybody that doesn't want to watch the video all the way through. I'll try to scoot in on those. All right, I'll put this in a, I'll take this sticker off. You can't really see the glory of the box with this sticker on here. Oh, I messed that up nicely. Now I glorified the box. All right, that's glory of the box for you. <laughs> that's all you're getting. All right, so we'll look at the knife here. Pull it out of the bubble wrap. See, I know this is double bladed, double edged, so not double bladed. That's Darth Maul. So we gotta be careful here. Pulling this thing out. I don't know how many times I've almost sliced my hand open. Okay, there we go. And like most non stainless steel, cold steels, this thing is full of the soul glow. <laughs> yeah, I need, a, I need a cloth or something. Hold on one second. All right, thankfully I got a bunch of paper towels in here. Be real careful here, I'll cut through the paper towel and into the meaty part of my palm. Get all that oil off there. Oh man, this thing is, this thing feels dangerous. Like it wants to stab me and cut me. Go, coming and going. All right. That thing's pretty sharp there. Check that out. 3V Taipan. Got that rubberized grip on there. Oh, man. This thing is lighter in the hand than I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it was going to be much heavier. I'm going to bleed on this video. I'm, I'm predicting it. So you got dual edge here really sharp on both sides if i had any hair on my arm i would i would show you <laughs> i'm afraid to cut myself all right i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it all right so let's look at the specs here if we can read them oh it's a big box we're good to go seven and a half inches of 3v steel which is awesome we love that stuff just hard to destroy this i mean seriously this feels like a little spartacus I'm gonna and Kirk Douglas, yeah, you know, put my little pinch chin thing there. Five and a half inch handle, ten point eight ounces. It doesn't feel that heavy. It really doesn't. This is really well balanced. Leave me a comment down there. What would you use this for? I mean, you could use this out in the field, I guess. It's, I mean, obviously it's more sticker, but you could use this thing. To chop, I think that handle would do good just for repeating chopping. Oh, so you have a board? I do have a board somewhere. I could do some chopping with this real quick. See how that 3V holds up? You want to see that? Oh. Okay, so this is remnants of, you know what this is? This is the dinner tray of doom, the testing tray. See if I can get this on here without punching holes in my really expensive armor thing table so let's see how you know just feeling that chop you can feel it in your hand see what you can be able to do with this yeah you could get some good chopping done i'm not saying you can go through a big old tree with this but 
if you're using this out in the woods for doing something that needs some small small stuff make sure I can run any screws I remember that time I ran into a screw that was messed up what knife was that I forget it wasn't fun so let me chop give it a good chop yeah that doesn't feel bad at all you feel a little bit of the, the gnarling on here but if you took this out in the field and wanted to use it as your field knife you can get a lot of good whoosh, leverage with it like a lot of whoosh, snapping what do you call it whoosh, whoosh, sound effects grow up only as a child i'm not saying i did <laughs> but and that three v is going to last and last so put that over there so i can step on it later all right get the kids in here to clean up the wood chips it's a beautiful thing so it's going to hold up that 3v is awesome of course and it feels good in hand it feels like you could really just use that out there cut down some small trees go through some vines and the 3v is not going anywhere oh you know what i'm gonna do i found out the beauty of stropping lately i got this big humongous strop i told you guys a buddy of mine was oh see i'm out of breath how a buddy of mine was stropping my chopper and changed my life forever things awesome but the 3v tie pan is awesome this is as cool as i thought it was going to be let's see how it fits in that sheath before the the sheath nuts go nuts see yeah, i went through that plastic really easily oh man i'm exhausted don't get the three don't get the three don't get the 3v don't get the covid it's a different number don't get the 19. there you go snaps out Sometimes these cold steel sheaths are just locked in there. Like on, what is that one that we just did? This one here. No, this is the, this is the, oh, that's a good knife. What is this, the outdoorsman? That's such a good knife. Just gotta be careful. It's got a wicked top edge there that'll cut you nicely. No, sometimes they're impossible to get out without prying them open, but this doesn't feel that way. I wonder if this is backwards and forwards here. Yeah, it is backwards and forwards. So yeah, the sheath is good. It's gonna keep it secure. You don't lose your expensive 3V knife. Fling it across the room, right into my big TV set. <laughs> Sorry, a little of the Doc Holiday in me. All right, so there you go. The 3V tie pan by Cold Steel. It's in the old school box, the pre-GSM box. I'm not sure if they're, they're still, I think they're still making these. So, but you know, if not, there's plenty of them out there in the, the old school box. And I think there's a sand light version of this too, which I imagine for the normal person and non knife snobbery, most people would know the difference in how well it holds up because I've done some stuff with that San Mai stuff and it's good stuff. So I'm really excited about this. This is in my, my cart for a long time, several places. It finally came down and priced enough. I was drunk enough. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> I was tired and <laughs> lonely and I just started buying my feelings away. This, this may have saved my life. No, but it might save your life out in the woods. And if you got knife laws where you can carry this thing, this thing will be awesome. Phew, awesome self-defense knife. I would not want to mess with that at all. Of course, seven and a half inches of steel on pretty much any knife is gonna deter a lot of baddies from taking your stuff or hurting your family. Let me see, this is kind of going dark here. How can we take this around? I don't know. I don't know, I got so many knives here. I should probably give some away, what do you think? Other numbers in this video? I don't know. Were the numbers in the video previously? I can't tell you. So I'm back, I'm back from COVID, I'm back from Blade Show, and hopefully I'm back doing some good things here. Let me know what you think down there, leave a comment, and um, I'll talk to you later.